All right, so we've got some Del Mar race activity to dive into on Saturday's card this week. That's right, surprise, no Saratoga. Even though there's Saratoga going on, uh, there's a grade one race, but there's also a grade one race happening at Del Mar, the Pacific Classic. So it's the biggest race of the weekend. So that's what we're going to discuss today. And as I unveil our, uh, our board here today, no chat. So, Chad, of course, it's the, it's the middle of the day at Saratoga, and uh, I'm sure uh, Chad uh, is just uh, way too uh, busy uh, uh, reaping the glory of his big win yesterday. Uh, matter of fact, I think I saw something where, because uh, I have that, uh, and again, we've been reminding everybody to check out the, the link in the description. It's a way for you to track uh, any trainer that you want, jockeys, owners, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, of course, if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, make sure you could track Chad, you could do that. Just use the link. That's what uh, I've been able to do. And I noticed John that uh, I think he claimed a horse yesterday. Is that? Did you notice that too? I was unaware of it. He claimed it, a horse. Okay. Yeah, it says here the service. So the service uh, I'm using is Virtual Stable, and it says, uh, let's see, claims. She caught my eye, finished sixth, beaten by 14 and a half, and race two at Saratoga. So I guess that just means that he claimed the horse, right? That's what it means. Okay. So uh, he just claimed she caught my eye from race two at Saratoga yesterday. Also, yesterday was Feloso. So, if, again, if you, if you use the virtual stable like we've been uh, letting everybody know about because we've had uh, questions from our viewers about how to follow uh, Chad, well, let's take a look at uh, – this is the midway point of the race. So, this is interesting, John, because I've he never – right, He was a number two horse. Yeah, he's right here. And what's interesting, John, is is that I, very rarely have I seen a horse st – like he's right here. He moves up to here. And then look at what he does here. Let me make sure I don't – blow myself out with the volume okay he backs up which is very unusual it's only his second start he's probably a little green the horse ran terrific take nothing away from him and he's got a bright future i am extremely happy for the owner al gold puts a lot of money in the game he had cyber knife and uh he needed the win and it was a good win for him so i'm very happy for the, all the connections yeah, so I was a little bit worried when I saw the saw him go up and then back up. I figured, well, maybe he couldn't find a way to get inside, so he wanted to go outside. But no, it's inside. Dylan Davis makes the move, and I was just shocked how quickly the horse just he exploded when the hole opened. He just exploded through. This is a nice horse. He has a bright future ahead of him. Hopefully, he stays sound. Yeah, so uh, very happy to see that from yesterday. Again, Feloso is the name of the horse. Went off at seven to one. So uh, good going there, Chad, and good luck with Feloso. So we'll be keeping an eye on the next horse, by the way, that you want to keep an eye on on Chad Stable is coming up on August 31st. It's race two. Uh, that's at uh, Saratoga called Cyclone State. It's a Yeah, but that horse is trying grass for the first time. It's a wide open race. I, I looked at it. Obviously, his dirt races are good enough if he's as good on the turf as he is on the dirt. She's fine, makes his third start, career start, and tries the grass for the first time. So let's see what happens. Now, last week, uh, of course, the big race. Uh, it was horrible. Last week was horrible. Fierceness won. It was just horrible. Yeah, Fierceness decided to finally run two, two good races, races in a row. Together. He ran a three, by the way, so he paired up wow. threes. That's pretty impressive. That's as good as we've seen it, that's for sure, in a while. So he holds Not off. any three-year-old this year. And he holds off the girl. Holds off yes, he Torpedo Anna. So, I'm uh, Terry Leone, bridesmaid again. Wow. I think that horse just may not like Saratoga. He was a favorite the last three times. He was a favorite in the Belmont Stakes that was run at Saratoga. He was a, fa a favorite in the Jim Dandy, and he was a favorite last week in the Travis. That had to be the first time that he didn't go forward on the well, sheet number but if that horse ran a three maybe he did who knows you know he may have run it we don't know we'll yeah. see the sheet and we'll figure it out yeah the so Go ahead. and also uh the other race the grade one four go easy win by mulligan that was the pick yeah. that chad by gave way, us last Doug week Lister also whatever his name is totally blew the start he went to his face and he still finished fourth so he ran pretty well in that race in defeat no excuses. We lost, and that was that. Let's turn the page and go to Saturday. 
All right. So, uh, are you a fan of Mulliken at all? Yeah, Mulliken. he was fine. He never. That was, he ran a five coming into the race. He had seven, seven, five, if you remember. Yep. And uh, well, next we time used we them. We just liked the horse that stumbled and lost all chance at the start. Okay, so we're going to do races ten and eleven at Del Mar. And the By first way, the tenth race is the big race. It's a Pacific Classic. It's their biggest race of the meet, and there's a big, huge late scratch coming up in there at number seven, a damn manner, the Bob Baffert five year old mare that he was running to, against the boys. You know, she was going to be a, a similar to last week's Torpedo Anna. A damn manner was going to try the boys. She's going to be a late scratch. She's not showing up. Okay. So, and so all the odds you, by the way, all the odds you see obviously, obviously will be a lot shorter because you're taking out the big favorite. So. Yep. Yeah, and she was nine to five, so we are definitely gonna have to take that into account. Uh, so let's go ahead. And by the way, the next uh, race that we're going to handicap is only going to be available to our Patreons, and that is going to be the Grade Two Del Mar Mile Stakes. But first, here. Uh, for Patreon and for our YouTube viewers, let's talk the Pacific Classic. And so right now, the morning line favorite is going to be the three, Dr. Vankman, who was 5-2. to two. Uh, Now is probably going to go off somewhere close to even money on the morning line. Might actually go even uh, you know, lower than that by post time. Well, I don't know about that, but listen, the horse uh, steady horse. The problem is uh, he's never been a mile and a quarter, and I don't know if he could handle the distance. But when we get to him, we'll discuss him. All right, the one is Il Miracolo, a five to one shot. So those odds will drop. A couple of weeks ago, ran a six. That's the best we've seen from Il Miracolo. Uh, so what do you think about coming off a six two weeks ago? Whether or not you think that's uh, good or not? Well, the six was at Mammoth in the Haskell, right? So I think he's going to react. Not only that, he's uh, shipping across the country off of the best race he's ever run. And he's going to be short, and I would play against him. I don't like him. All right. Uh, he's got two grade three wins. One was in March, running at nines. Run three nines coming into that six. So, really, if you look at it this year, uh, most of the numbers were pretty good. 13, three nines, and a six. Uh, let's go now to the two. Third goes Hollywood. Excuse me, Harvard. Harvard. There goes Harvard. Uh, much better than uh, – uh, well, no, I shouldn't say that. Well, actually, <laughs> throw them both out. Uh, Berrios is the uh, jockey uh, is having a really good meet um, McCarthy's also having a good meet grade one win that happened in the gold cup uh, last excuse me two Mays ago uh, at Santa Anita running a 10 but uh, we've seen a lot of turf races since then or mostly yeah and you, you said it two years ago so I don't think so I think this horse has tailed off and probably lost the step by the way this is really a weak million dollar race I'll tell you that much no standout superstars that's for sure that's California for you yeah. um, alright here's Dr. Vankman Dr. Vankman knows how to just roll sevens that's it have you yeah. ever seen a horse run seven, uh, five sevens to start his career not often, but uh, last time he tried two turns for the first time, I think it was the San Diego. And what was interesting about this horse is we liked him last time out. I'm not sure if I did it on this show or another show. The reason being, a bunch of horses in that race were coming off of long layoffs, and this horse had recency. So for that reason, I liked him. But I think he's going to run well Saturday, but I don't think he's going to win, and he's going to probably be odds on here. Yeah, which would be uh, pretty much, uh, we've seen that happen a couple of times with this horse already. Uh, three for three at Del Mar, so it's going to be bet uh, really well. Those odds are going to be pretty bad to try and take advantage of. So let's go ahead with the four, reincarnate. Eight to one on the morning line. Uh, do you think this is uh, the so-called rabbit uh, which I, I guess no more rabbit because Baffert, a rabbit. Well, yeah. what's it going to be a rabbit for yeah. himself? Adore <laughs> Matter is no longer in the race so reincarnate hey reincarnate now you can win now you get a chance well, to actually well, race to victory yeah if he runs it better than the 9 that he has I don't see him running better than the 9 but he certainly can run an 11 you know if you think an 11 gets you in and it may somewhere on the bottom I don't think 11 is going to win though yeah, that was it. Just a one nine and everything else. Uh, tens and elevens. A lot of tens and of elevens. So yeah, I think a ten uh, or nine is going to win. Yeah, maybe. Again, the odds aren't too bad. Uh, Katona, the five horse. Another morning line eight to one shot. O'Neill. This is one of O'Neill's horses. 
Uh, 0 for 3 at Del Mar with a couple of seconds. Coming off a 9. That was actually his first race in a year. Uh, ran that last month at the Grade 2 San Diego Handicap and finished second as a 20 to 1 shot. Uh, this horse has 7s, 8s, 9s to go back to. And, I mean, this is an interesting horse, especially this is the second race after the long uh, uh, layover. This is my top selection in the race. Uh, first, uh, first of all, last time out, like you said, he was making his first start in over a year. Also, he was against the track. It was a very speed-favoring track. This horse had to come from behind. He ran very well first race in over a year. I think he's making a forward move off of that race. And I don't think you're getting 8-1, to one, but you may get 4 or 5-1, to one, and I think that's more than fair. I like this horse to win the race. Okay, the Six is full Serrano. Morning line 12 to 1. Raced at Del Mar in the States. It looks like for the first time. That was a little bit more than, what, three or four weeks ago. That was an 11. Uh, that was a mile race. And of course, that was a win. John Sadler having a good meet. Uh, this horse is also 6 for 6 on a dirt fast track. Uh, and uh, the odds are pretty good. So, what about full Serrano? Well, the problem I have with this horse is he's coming off of Lasix, and a lot of times when these Argentinian horses or these European horses come in, it's because they bleed and they have to come here to be able to run on Lasix. So he's coming off of Lasix. So, you know, it's a guess. He ran once. Do we know if he's moving forward? Do we know if he's moving backwards? I guess if he's long enough, you could use him. But again, it's a one number horse. I usually don't like playing in these kind. Okay, let's now uh, go to the final two horses in the Grade 1 Pacific Classic. None Above the Law and Mixto are both morning line 20-1 to 1 shots. Uh, None Above the Law uh, ran a 9 in June. Uh, then it's, it's kind of a bouncing back and forth like in every other races, either on turf or dirt. That's kind of weird. Kind of like fierceness. He's an in and out or he never puts two together. You know, the nine that he ran two starts back, if you cover that, what does he really have? He doesn't have anything. You know, he's kind of slow. He ran that nine. It was at Los Alamitos, which is the bull ring. I don't like this horse in this spot. Yeah, this uh, jockey's having a bad go of it, too, so far. Yeah, this well, meet. it's hard to come to California and break in unless you get a shot. And then there's Mixto, the other Doug O'Neill horse, who's only won once in 13 tries career-wise. Got off to a good start over his career as far as the sheets were concerned. Uh, oh, looking ahead from the first race to uh, his la uh, the race in January, uh, everything was kind of moving forward to a nine. Uh, but since then, he's kind of been bouncing back and forth, nines and tens. Yeah, but he has a shot, and I think he'll be probably close to the longest shot in the race. So I was going to use him underneath looking yeah. to juice up the price of the five. So I like five over three and nine. Katona with Dr. Beckman and Mixed Toe. And you like? Five over three and nine for John. So yeah, Katono is also looking good to me. So I'm going to go. So you got three, nine. I'll go. I'll, I'll go stay away from the, for the three. Fuck it. Uh, I'll let you handle the short priced horse and I'll go uh, eight over eight eight above nine above the law no no not eight nine uh i'm gonna go uh five over four and nine okay did chad call in any plays no he did not i don't believe yet okay. no nope. don't be no nope. we have no uh picks from chad today so let's uh move on over to probably uh, still celebrating from <laughs> yes as well he oh. should all right, so these yeah. are for our Patreon uh, uh, members only. So anybody there at YouTube, don't forget, link in the description. Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Yes. So it, it, this free for everybody. There you go. So once we get to 1,000 subscribers, you will not miss anything here that we give you as far as our picks each week. But since uh, we're not at 1,000 subscribers yet, we're going to move on over to Patreon only.